Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us look at how to add some headers to our message headers using header enricher. In our previous example, we looked at how Transformer works in Spring integration. In this example, let us try to add few headers to our message header. So for this, what I did is like, let me open up the integration configuration file. Here, what I've done is like, I created a header enricher bean that is annotated with other rate of transformer. Header enricher implements the transformer. So you can use other rate of transformer on the top of the header enricher bean and add your headers inside it and route it to the output channel. So what I did here is like, I created a map which is going to have a string and a header value message processor. And I have added two headers in it, header one and header two, which is going to have value test header one and test header two. And then I'm going to create a new header enricher and return back the header enricher as a bean. The other change what I did here is like, in our previous example, we had the integration student gateway channel directly hitting the object to JSON transformer. Let me quickly open up the gateway here. The gateway accepts the input in the integration student gateway channel. So this channel is directly mapped to our header enricher. So when a request comes in, it goes to the header enricher, then static headers are added here, and then it goes to the transformer. The object gets converted to the JSON transformer. It goes to the service activator, and then the other processes with related to it. So let's go to our service, and let us try to run this example, and I'll show you how this header is added. The application is up. Let me clear the console. And let's go to a postman and let's fire a request. All right. So the request has flown through the header enricher and then the object to JSON transformer and it has come to the service actuator receive message method. And let us try to inspect this message and let us see whether our header is present in there or not. So it, by default, it has the reply channel, error channel, the, an ID and a timestamp. And now the header that we added is present here. Header 2, test header 2 and then header 1, test header 1. This is one example of adding static headers to your message headers. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.